In the fall, as it gets dark this evening, we're going to be able to see some really, really beautiful constellations that will light up the sky starting straight up with what's called the Summer Triangle. And despite the fact that it's fall, it still is very, very high in the sky and a very, very distinctive pattern of stars that's worth seeing. It was actually quite visible during the summer, more toward the east and then straight up above. And then here in the fall, we're going to see it moving gradually from the zenith, straight above our heads, toward the west each successive night of the, of the fall, moving lower and lower in the sky toward the sunset. There are three very bright stars that make up an, the asterism that we call the Summer Triangle. Those three stars are called Vega, which is the brightest star in the constellation of Lyra, Deneb, which is the brightest star in the constellation of Cygnus, and Altair, which is the brightest star in the constellation Aquila. And those three stars in each of those three constellations are very, very distinct. The stars are so bright that you can see them even in the brightest of city lights, but certainly when you're out away from the bright lights, even here in my own backyard in San Francisco, we'll be able to see quite a bit of detail in each of those three constellations because they each contain a fair number of medium and bright stars. As well, straight to the south, we're going to get the last good look of the, fa of the fall here at Scorpius, which is the scorpion, which has a beautiful red star at its heart called Antares, and Sagittarius, which is the archer. Those are both straight in the south. Those are zodiac constellations. Those are the constellations where you find the sun, the moon, and the planets throughout the year. And just a little bit more across the south to the southeast from Sagittarius is where you find Capricornus, which is right now where Jupiter is located. It's spending the next several weeks moving gradually across in retrograde motion and then eventually in prograde motion away from Capricornus and over toward Aquarius over the next many months. Also in the eastern part of the sky is a very, very beautiful and large constellation called Pegasus, the flying horse, the winged horse. It's now rising up higher and higher in the east each evening, and by the late evening, it's very high up, dominating the, the upper part of the sky. 